is a sealed 12 volt battery. It's not kicking the engine over very well. I'm going to test it quickly with the engine off. There we go. It's reading not bad actually, but it, it still hardly turns the engine over uh, in the mornings. So it's had a little bit of a run today, but not much. So it's three years old. It's a sealed battery and you can't get any uh, access to the things without uh, opening these uh, sealed tampas. And it says in the instructions uh, not, to, not to open them. So here I have a battery hydrometer. I have some distilled water. And this is rather hot here quite often and where this car is kept. So I'm thinking that maybe a little bit of water might help, but I'm not sure. A bit, a bit distilled water, but you can't get in to open it. So here is the access here. Uh, it's the breather tube. Here is the hydrometer. And just by chance, it kind of fits on, but the hydrometer is glass, so On you go. There it is. It's on the tube. I mustn't drop this. Uh, the central part with the readings is in the house. Here we go. I'm going to try and just inject a bit of distilled water into this battery and then watch it for the next few days. Here we go. I don't want to suck the uh, battery acid back up the tube <laughs> right i think it's gone in that's the second one i've done the second amount of that much it's not very much but it puts it under a bit of pressure in there we go disconnect Oh, put the put the tube back on again. Put it down. That's the drainage tube. And then we'll just see what happens. Who knows? Maybe I have to buy a new battery in the end. It's only three years old, but it's not had a lot of mileage. Uh, and its car has been standing quite a bit. So that might account for the battery sulfating or something like that. I don't know. It's just an experiment. Okay. Bye.